Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you all how to make a resource pack, a custom resource pack for Minecraft 1.17. I made a video uh, on this for 1.16, but the new version has released and I thought I'd make one for 1.17. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe on the video guys, it really helps out the channel a lot. It may not seem like a lot to you, but for me it means a whole bunch and one more note guys everything that you will need will be in the description of the video and timestamps included without further ado let's get right into the video all right guys so the first thing you're going to need is obviously java and minecraft but i assume you already have that if you're here in this tutorial second thing you need is a paint software now windows default comes with stuff like ms paint and paint 3d these are both pretty alright programs you can use them but I recommend installing a program called paint.net it's right here uh, on my taskbar it's a really cool program and best of all it's completely free link in the description alright next thing you guys are going to need is 7-zip it is a extraction software like uh, Win WinRAR and I like using 7-zip because it's just easier for me than using WinRAR I recommend you guys get it if you already have WinRAR and you know how to use that, then go ahead and use WinRAR. But if you don't know how to use those programs, get 7-Zip because that's what we're using in this tutorial. And again, link in the description. Alright guys, and uh, believe it or not, that is all you need for this video. Okay, so step one is to head on into your file explorer and go up to this bar right here and search up percent sign app data percent sign just like that click enter and then find dot minecraft once you're in dot minecraft scroll down to versions and then find the version you want to make your pack for if you're doing 1.17 find 1.17.1 .1. if you have optifine or some sort of mod do not find the model one just the default one if you're making this for 1.8 you can do that as well. If these folders aren't here, you have to launch Minecraft in this version. So, for example, if you wanted uh, a 1.12, which you never played 1.12, you have to launch that Minecraft version. Anyway, we're going to head into 1.17, and we're going to take this jar file right here. We're going to go right click it and copy. Alright, now we've done that, we can minimize this, and we're going to make a new folder on our desktop. Alright, so just right click, new folder, and we'll name this, um, I don't know, resource pack. There's my creative. Alright, resource pack. This is the best I can think of. And then once you have this, you're going to open it, and do control V. Alright, now we will have this jar file in here. If you don't see this dot jar right here, you can head up here to view. Then over here where it says file name extensions and hidden items, check these. You don't need to check hidden items, but check file name extensions. And it should show dot jar. Alright, now we're going to need to use that 7-zip program that you've installed. When you right click, you're going to notice that you can have a thing that says 7-zip. Hover over it, come over here, and then click extract here. Then it's going to start extracting. You're going to see a bunch of folders. And uh, just wait for this to finish. Alright, once it's done, you're going to be left with a bunch of things right here. But we're only going to need um, this assets folder up at the top. So we're going to do control A to select everything. And then control click the assets folder so it's not selected, as you can see. And then just press the delete key. And it'll get rid of all this unwanted stuff and just wait for it to uh, finish recycling it. Alright, so uh, all that unnecessary stuff is deleted and we're left with this assets folder. Now, in here, we're going to have Minecraft Realms.mc case root. You don't need these folders, but uh, you need the Minecraft folder. Inside here, if it loads, we're going to have all this stuff. You really don't need all of this. You can make the uh, framework of this folder yourself, but doing this is easy for beginners because you have every texture available to you. You have all the names that you need for the texture to work in-game. 
so everything's already there for you, and all you have to do is just edit what you want the texture to be, which is just a lot easier for beginners, and this is how I learned. So, if you want to, for example, make a language pack, you do right here. Um, a lot of this is not really texture stuff, except for the uh, textures folder right here. So in here, you're going to have a bunch of textures, things right here. So if you want to change, let's say, a model, that's where you get your, ar your uh, armor. Like your armor model physically on your body, you go in here. You want to change a particle, like a hit, a uh, crit particle. You go in here. You want to change some GUI, like you know your inventory or cr uh, crafting table screen. It's right here. Uh, entity. If you want to change a mob, right there. And then you have block, which is where you change blocks and item for items. Now today I'm going to be changing an item texture, so we're going to head in here and. There's going to be a lot of stuff. They're probably going to show actual images for you. I just have that disabled in my settings for more performance. So, in this, you can edit whatever you want and everything you edit separately. So, hopefully, it'll work. You just do not change the name of any of these files because then it will not show up in the game because the JSON file that renders this in the game is named the same thing so it will work so if you change the name of this it will not work in game it will show up the uh the little like air texture which is, like black and purple so yeah i'm going to uh edit the diamond sword for this video so we're gonna search up sword here and it's going to bring all the swords in the game we're gonna go diamonds and if you double click it'll open in something <laughs> for me it opened in just photos I want to open this in the paint on that program, so we're going to right click, uh, open with, where is open with, right here, uh, and then paint.net. Okay, so in paint.net it's going to be super small, just use control scroll wheel to zoom in, because this is in the 16 by 16 resolution, which is what all Minecraft textures are in. You can change this to whatever you want, as long as it's a multiple of 16. So for example, and it has to be a 1 by 1 ratio, so you can't do 16 by 32, you have to do 16 by 16, or 32 by 32. So anything that's multiple of 16 will work here. Um, so yeah, let's just make the texture. So we're going to change, I'm going to keep this the same because it's the stick. So we're going to use the pencil tool up on the left, and we're going to change this center color here to a purple. So we're going to just drag this. And then we're going to click like so, and you see it looks nice. This one's a little darker, so I'm going to click more right here, and then go to the volume and bring it down, which will make the color darker. And then we're going to bring the volume up like so. And yeah, this is how you just do basic texture things, and I'll be right back when I'm done. Alright, so I'm back, and I've finished the sword. It looks pretty cool. It's, you know, purple. And, yeah, you can change all your swords like this. If you want to make a PvP pack, you can make the sword shorter. You can do whatever. That's the coolest thing about this. Just uh, make sure this background stays this white and black, or white and gray, instead of full white. Because it's full white. It's going to show up that whole thing in the game. You want to make sure the background is transparent. Okay, now that you're done, just do Control S and click OK. And now it's saved. And the way you check is if you double click the diamond sword, it'll open up. And you scroll in, and you can see it's uh, purple. It looks blurry just because that's how this is, because it's low resolution. But yeah, this is how you change your texture. Now that you've done this, we need to add a little bit of, add a file to the code so we can make it show up in game. So to do that, we're going to stop the search here. We're just going to close this and go back in the resource pack up here. And right here, we're going to right click, do new text document, and just don't name it. 
Now I actually have um a thing already saved, which is on my documents. Let's scroll down. It's this right here, which is this is what we're going to need. We're gonna write this right here. This will be saved in the description, so don't worry, guys. You don't have to write any code. Just take this out when I uh, make the text file, which is over here. You can just uh, take the code and paste it like so right in your text document. And all it is is color bracket in quotes pack and then uh, curly bracket to open up this pack format with it. It says insert number and description my resource pack and then more uh, end curly brackets. Now all this is is it means hey this is pack and pack format is the pack format and then description is what you want your description to be. So let's say this is amethyst sword right let's say we do cool and I can't spell <laughs> hopefully it's right sword thingy and you can this is this is basically when you get a resource pack and it'll show this as basically the title so now we have this we need a pack format 1.17 7 1.16 6 and 1.8 is 1 now this changes every time there's a major texture update to the game which 1.17 was so we're gonna make sure you put in 7 there you don't need quotes because it's an integer and just go to uh, save, just control s to save it close it now we need to rename this to something very specific make sure you write this exactly clear all of this out and you're going to rename this to pack dot mc meta and Windows is going to warn you that it won't work, but it will still work. And this just makes an MC meta file so the game can actually read this. And one last thing before we can actually make the resource pack is an optional thing. If you want a image to pop up when you have the resource pack, then all you want to do is just right click, or I'm sorry, you want to make sure that your image is 1 to 1 aspect ratio and a multiple of 16. And just make your image, and then you want to bring it right on this screen right here below pack MC meta and just name it pack.png. Make sure it's a PNG. You can't change a JPEG to pack.png because it'll break. Just to make sure it's already a PNG, and then do pack.png. I'm not going to do that to save time, but that's what you guys can do if you want. Alright, so we have this now right in the resource pack folder, and now we need to turn this actually into a usable resource pack. To do that, just going to uh, select all of this, both of these folders, right click, use 7-zip, then click add to archive. Now this is a very important step, so make sure you're paying attention. Right here it says archive format. This is all you're going to need to change. By default, it's going to be 7-z. You're going to want to change it to zip. If it's a 7-z file, Minecraft won't be able to actually use it as a resource pack, so make sure you put it as a dot zip. And you can change the name up here if you want. I'm not going to. I'm just going to just do this. And then click OK. And it'll quickly turn into a zip file. Now, um, if I were you, I just copy this. But I'm going to cut it so it deletes from this area because I don't want it here. And once you do that, um, we're going to want to go back into that percent sign app data. So I just do it again. So percent sign app data enter and then go back to dot minecraft this time we're going to want to go to resource packs and find it resource packs where is it um right here nope that's resources resource packs that we want now you can do this in minecraft but we're just going to do it right here because it's easier and you're just going to do uh control v and you can see it pops up right there now i'm going to go back into minecraft and uh, we're going to go to options and resource packs and we're going to find it this one right here resource pack dot zip so we're going to see it's got our description cool and it's a stored sword thingy which is what we named it and then just click this little arrow button it'll put it over on this side and click done it's going to load up real quick and now we're going to test it by giving ourselves a 
diamond sword. And as you can see, it's purple now. So there you guys go. How to make a custom resource pack in Minecraft. And if this doesn't work, feel free to tell me about your troubles down in the comment section. I'll try to help you about it. Or help you with it, sorry. So yeah guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to uh, leave a like if you liked it. And subscribe if you want to. Because it's easy for you, but it helps you a lot. Sorry for the plugs. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.